Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a half case break of 2018 Panini Donruss Optic Football. Half case, random team, number three. One spot gets you two teams in this half case break. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. All teams are in, of course. Veteran commons don't uh, ship, by the way. Let's roll the dice. And another seven. I've been rolling so one and a six, seven times. One, if you're keeping track at home. Two, three, four, five, six. Did they just get back from Vegas? Seven. After seven times, we got Mike Coster all the way down to Dwayne. And six and a one, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and a one. Good luck, everyone. Seven times. Here are the teams you get matched up with. Saints down to the Cowboys. All right, so Mike Coster, you have the Saints. Jeremy 33 with the Seahawks. Michael with the Titans. Mike Coster with the uh, Jaguars. Chad, you got the Chargers and the Niners. Gabe with the Bears, Lindsey, Nola Cardboard, you got the Chiefs, Randall, Steelers, Steve, Eagles, Jeremy 33, Packers, Steve, you got the Texans, Chad Stork with the Buccaneers, Richard, Last Bot Mojo, Falcons and Panthers, Cat and a Bird, Mark with another Bird, Ravens, Michael D with the Lions, Randall, Patriots, Mark with the Redskins, Chad with the Bills, Dwayne with the Giants, Jeremy 33 with the Rams, Brent with the Cardinals, Gabe, you got the Colts, Mark with the Vikings, Jeremy 33, my Raiders. Beating, beating Steve Freeze's uh, Broncos on Monday night. Winning me a little money. Mark Madsen with the Dolphins. Brent with the Jets. Jeremy 33 with the Bengals. Lindsey with the Broncos. Jeremy 33 with the Browns. And Dwayne with the Cowboys. Trades are allowed, so feel free to trade while I roll the die and see which, um, see which half we're going to do. All right, there it is all on one screen. Good luck. We're listening to a little uh, Derek and the Donalds, Layla. That's right, TJ. Layla about George Harrison's wife. Pat, Patty? Boyd? Isn't this entire album? Isn't that entire uh, Derek and the Donalds album about, about her? What an odd situation. All right, yeah, Steve Freeze. That that game was a bit of a mess for the Broncos. Well, so what are the what are the Bron where do the Broncos go from here, Steve Freeze? We got and Steve has the Eagles for trade, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that is a five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do that. This is for break three. This will be for break four. Random team four. which is already on the site right now. All right, so a half case break. We've got full case breaks available as well on jazbeescasebreaks.com. In fact, I want to say one of those full casers are in single digits. And TJ saying Bowman's best sold out nice, so that'll be... We'll add that to the docket once I go through orders after this one. All right, Redskins up for trade, maybe? So anyone want the Redskins? All right, looks like no. So let's close up the trade window. Let's print, let's rip. Let's get this going. So this is Random Team 3. Schedule is in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. If you're watching live, you'll be able to see what's going to be coming up. 
All right, here's the official printout. On the 26th, happy Boxing Day. We'll be unboxing on this Boxing Day. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully everyone's holidays, Christmas was great. All right, so Steve's saying, well, yeah, another good draft and maybe get rid of Vance Joseph. There's some, there's some, uh, there's some bright spots there on the Broncos. Philip Lindsay is a revelation. Cortland Sutton has been doing pretty well, it's, you know, all things considered. Vance Joseph probably gone, right? John Elway did. I was, Steve, I was watching the game. I had a, a little action on it, of course, at the Orleans in Las Vegas. And I was watching it while I was losing money playing $5 craps. Um, so the Raider game made me pretty happy. Um, but every time I glanced up, there was a shot of John Elway in the in like the the suites with his with his black gloves on. He looked like he wanted to maybe murder Vance Joseph. Did not look happy. And then there was a shot of him later in the game on the field, not looking happy. So, uh, who are the who are the coaches that get fired, ladies? Not that we'd like to see anyone get fired. That's not cool. It's their livelihood, you know. But that happens. Who's getting fired? Vance Joseph has got to go, right? Vance Joseph is done. Todd Bowles. In New York, New York Jets, is he is he done? I thought early in the in the year, I thought that Bill O'Brien was gonna be done. But no, the Texans are ten and five. So What are you gonna, you know, what do, what do I know? Um, is Greg Williams, I don't, I don't think Greg Williams is gonna continue, right? Probably not. All right, box number one. Good luck, everybody. So, of course, veteran commons don't ship, but obviously parallels of veterans obviously will because they're numbered as well, even if they're not numbered, like inserts. So we'll set those aside. We'll top load and sleeve those up, so that'll ship too. Obviously, stuff like this will ship. You think Greg Williams stays? I, th I thought he just had an interim tag, right? But I mean, this guy looks pretty good. That'll ship. There's Traquan Smith at a 149. Well, uh, Zimmer might get fired, right? Here's our first autograph, Mike Kosicki. Rated rookie autograph for the Dolphins. And that will head out to uh, Mark and the Finns. The Dolphinos. 60 out of 125 on that one. There's Jordan Thomas. Out of 50. Yeah, Jeremy Nicolo saying, well, why would you get rid of him? He's got the defense playing really well, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean maybe maybe they, they found the answer in-house. I just thought he had an interim tag. Maybe I thought they were going to do their due diligence with the, with the hiring process, I suppose. I mean, I guess they still will. Will Marvin Lewis finally get fired? I don't think so. I think if he hasn't gotten fired already, I think he's got the job for life. Short of like an 0-16 season. There's Tanner Lee for the Jags out of 299. You got to think that that Marvin Lewis can just can just say there's Devontae Parker out of 299. And Sammy Watkins for the Chiefs out of 199. You got to think that um, that Marvin Lewis can easily just be like, well, you know, Dalton went down. What am I going to do? And the owner will be like, yeah, you're right. Andy Dalton went down. That sucks. No, we'll give you one more, Marvin. 
You know, you do what you do. All right. Next one. So the playoff picture is kind of shaping up, right? But I still think we have some permutations here. The AFC, obviously the Chiefs are in, Patriots are in, Texans are in, Ravens could be in, Colts could be in, Titans still have a shot. I think they've got an outside shot. Got some 9-6 and six teams there that can maybe sneak in. In the NFC, you know, Saints, Rams, Bears, Cowboys, Seahawks are locked up. So it looks like Vikings and Eagles are going to be battling for that last spot. So they've got a they've got an outside chance. All right, well Good to see you back in the action, Philo. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. I think the Vikings definitely underperformed. That's why I think Zimmer might be a candidate to get fired. Looks like he laid a lot of the blame on the on the offensive coordinator, right? And they fired him. So I don't know. Should uh, so. I don't think he, I don't think he's a lock to be fired, but I th I think I think there could be. A chance that they go in a different direction, but no, I don't think he's one of the top candidates to be fired, though. It's a possibility, though. All right. Second box. Good luck. There's Kelvin Benjamin for the Bills out of 299. There's Rashad Penny to 199. And Tanner Lee to 299. Vaughn Miller. Alex Smith to 149. Redskins. Poor Alex Smith. Julio! Julio Jones to 50. And his teammate Matt Ryan right there. Le'Veon Bell, Colts. Cody West saying Colts are going to be scary next year. They could be scary this year. Cap space, QB, Le'Veon. I don't know if they're going to – I agree with Steve Freeze. I don't think they're going to spend Le'Veon Bell money on him. They, they could certainly improve or continue to improve in many other areas. Maybe someone opposite T.Y. Hilton. And there's your autograph, Ray Ray McLeod for the Bills. That'll be for Chad Stork in Buffalo. Buffalo! <laughs> Slot machine, baby. 11 out of 35. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of money. I don't know where where is Le'Veon Bell going to end up. Raiders. I think Raiders have cap space. Nothing else going on for the Raiders next year. You know, contending teams probably have, you know, their 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 payroll kind of balanced out a little bit nicely. Ah, Chiefs could be an interesting landing spot in the post post hunt world. Uh, did, did I see Tim Hasselback saying the Raiders are tanking for Vegas no matter what they say? Well, <laughs> then the Raiders shouldn't have won on Monday night against the Broncos. It was I was conflicted. I want the win over my rivals, but 
also want an, a higher pick too. I don't know. Raiders picking at four. I'm okay with them picking at four. I feel like I feel like there's a lot of pressure at pick one or two, you know. So. Risk you're saying, yeah, C Free saying, please not the Chiefs. I know, I agree with you. I don't want to see Le'Veon Bell on the Chiefs. Um, James Conner just as good as Le'Veon Bell. What do you guys think? I think, well, I think James Conner has put up similar numbers to Le'Veon Bell. But as a raw talent, does that make him better than Le'Veon Bell? Probably not. So you have to think, I mean, in my opinion, I think, Boy, if James Conner was able to put up these numbers, then what could have Le'Veon Bell put up this season? All right, box three. Halfway through this half-case break. There's a random team break number three. Let me drop the schedule in the chat in case you're just joining us. So after this will be a couple one-box breaks, and then I think Best finally sold out. So that may happen at around 6 o'clock Pacific. And we got Jake Wenicky right out here for the Vikings, 24 out of 75. Who's got Minnesota in this one? Mark got randomized Minnesota. I like these inserts too. Obviously, these will ship. I like these downtown cards too. Those inserts are good. See them at Ryan Izzo. R to the Izzo to 149. And there's Khalil Mack out of 299. Raiders love like a bunch of first round picks. Although I think they thought that that Bears pick was going to be a little bit higher than it was. There's Michael Gallup out of 299 for the Cowboys. Cameron Wake out of 199. There's Von Miller for the Broncos out of 99. Let's leave up that downtown card. I think when this first came out, these downtown cards. We're selling like hotcakes. They're a little more common now, but I'm sure they still carry some nice value, Saints. That'll be for Mike Coster. So nice Drew Brees. Let's see, let's see how the Saints do in the playoffs. Now, I was spending a little time. My sister works in Vegas, folks. I was spending a little time in Vegas and kind of... It wasn't anything too crazy, but the, the weekend was still a bit of a blur. Um, Saturday, let's kind of quickly recap some games here. Saturday, Titans took care of business, 25-16 over the Redskins. They're, they scored 16 points in the fourth quarter. They looked a little sluggish, but um, they scored 16 points in the end. Ravens, that was a big game. Ravens took taking care of the Chargers pretty handily, 22-10. So Ravens look pretty dangerous. I think on the road in L.A., playing the Chargers, a tough team, that was a big test. Man, that defense looks really great, and the offense is doing doing just enough, you know? And a lot of times that could be enough to, go, to make a deep run into the playoffs, which is kind of crazy. Could we see, like, a, a Bears-Ravens Super Bowl? <laughs> I'm not sure how the I guess Chicago that'd be huge ratings. I don't know I don't know how that how that would be. Um, Browns beating the hapless Bengals 26-18 on Sunday. Uh, Baker Mayfield three touchdowns. Cowboys doing what they need to do 27-10 over the Buccaneers. Vikings taking care of business in Detroit. They win 27-9. We've got the 
Uh, Colts edging out the Giants 28-7. to It was a lot closer than it probably should have been, although I was on the Giants on the, with the spread. Jaguars 17-7 in what amounts to be a really weird season for the Jaguars after such a great season for them last year. They're 5-10 and 10 with one more week to go. Patriots. Patriots look a little sluggish, right? Tom Brady doesn't look like Tom Brady. Gronk doesn't look like Gronk. They still win 24-12 over the Bills. We'll see how they do in the playoffs. Um, Packers winning in overtime, 44-38. Eagles. Look at this. Edging out the Texans, 32-30. They stay alive. I mean, Car Carson, Carson Wentz versus... I mean, that conversation is happening, folks. Carson Wentz versus Nick Foles. And you got to keep Carson Wentz, obviously. Nick Foles is a little on the older side, but you can't deny that little extra magic that Nick Foles has been able to bring. Dante Pettis to 199. Drew Brees to 199. Saints. Is that right, Seafree? Seafree saying, didn't Brady come out and say he's going to be playing again next year? I'm sure he will. I mean, you know, Peyton Manning stretched out. There's James Washington. We were talking about the Steelers earlier. There's James Washington, rated rookie, on-card autograph for the Steelers. Randall on the board. Um, I mean, Peyton Manning played for a few extra years, even though he wasn't, you know, Peyton Manning as we as we knew him in his prime. So I'm sure Tom Brady can can stretch that career out. It's just a matter of how how Belichick and the team kind of adjust to that kind of Tom Brady. You know what I mean? There's LaShawn McCoy. Sorry, we'll put that over there. And that goes to the Bills, of course. You know, so Patriots coming into a bit of a transition as well. I think I saw, I heard Bill Simmons on a podcast kind of, spec, or, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty, but speculating, man, should they have picked up Lamar Jackson late in the first round? There's Terrell Suggs at a 299. But that could be the crucial, you know, that crucial Belichick mistake, the rare Belichick mistake. You know, that may cost him, you know, like extended years of success. There's James Washington again at a 149 on that parallel. And that Ronald Jones, a second downtown card going to the Buccaneers. That'll be going out to Chad Stork. Two boxes to go. A couple one-box breaks after this. Bowman's Best after that. And then I'm sure other things are selling out after that as well. Well, I think the Patriots probably would have to draft a QB wrister. Yeah, Daniel Anderson agrees with that too. At this point, I mean, they should have, like, like I was saying, Bill Simmons was suggesting that maybe they should have picked up Lamar Jackson this year. I think they had it. They were around that position. They could have. But Jeremy Nicholas saying Brady's going to play until his weird tail wheels fall off. He's going to go out like far. He's going to be laughed off the field. You think, man, do you think Tom Brady will, I think Tom Brady will, uh, will like go to another team? <laughs> that would be crazy. I feel like that's not really his brand, right? But I don't know. I think, uh, I think their chance was for Lamar Jackson this year. I don't know what the quarterback class is like, you know, this upcoming year, but Lamar Jackson seems like a pretty good at like hindsight in 2020. But I think Belichick, this was the Garoppolo situation. They had two chances. At a, they had Jimmy Garoppolo. They chose Brady. They had Lamar Jackson. They chose Brady. You know, Cody West is saying that there was allegedly a deal in place to trade up. Uh, to two if the Browns didn't pick Baker Mick. You know, so there's all these quarterback opportunities that they passed on. So, uh, Jeremy, just email email me and I'll exchange info <laughs> info between you guys. I don't want your personal info on the. Uh, on the ch on the live chat, who knows who's watching, Jeremy? I'm not sure if the Patriots are going to sign Flacco next year. 
seems like a like a step backwards. I I I think they'd rather go. I think they'd rather go young. There's Jamon Moore. It's a different parallel, not numbered though. There's Adam Thielen, out of uh, two ninety nine. Yeah, Joe Flacco definitely sounds like a Jaguar. That's where I can see Flacco end up. There's Jalen Samuels to 99. Landon Collins to 299. Tyreek Hill to 99. Let's see how the Chiefs do in the playoffs. Playoffs should be really exciting. Looking forward to it. Any guesses on that redemption? I forget who the redemptions were. Equinamius St. Brown to 199 for the Packers. And your redemption is... Is Carry On. Carry On My Wayward Son. Rated Rookies Autographs Hollow. Carry on my wayward son. Michael D. With Detroit Motor City. Right there. Carry on Johnson. Andrew K. What's going on, man? How about that Browns over under? I think I told you that it was a lock. There you go. Nice carry on Johnson. Last box. No, but I think I think that back in the summer, yeah, you're exactly right, Andrew K. I think back in the summer, I think you and I were well. I think I was saying eight games, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I was I was I was on him. I was on him. In fact, I think there's only uh, Cody West says he has video. But see, I didn't I didn't doubt your Browns, Cody West, not at all. In fact, let's take a look at, I think I have some, uh, some win total updates for you, ladies and gentlemen. So, I had Jets, and we'll go AFC first. I had Jets, I picked one team a division. I, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I think I would have passed on some of these teams, but I did okay. I had Jets over six wins, didn't happen. I had Cleveland over five and a half wins. I put the most money on that one. Definitely got that. Um, I had the Colts over six and a half wins. Got that one. I have Denver under seven wins. That's to be determined. TBD. If they lose next week, I'll win. I'll win that one. Um, I had the Giants under seven wins at plus one twenty. Won that. I had Bears over six and a half. Sorry, Steve Freeze. I'm rooting against your Broncos, my rivals. I, I took him under seven from the beginning of the season. Under seven, Giants won that. Over six and a half, uh, Bears, I almost said Cubs, won that. I don't know why I picked under nine and a half for the Saints. That seems silly now, but I think it was worth a, you know, I just I thought the Falcons would be better. I thought the Panthers would be better. Uh, I thought the Buccaneers would be better. So I thought I thought they'd win nine. But that under nine and a half didn't work out. And I had Seattle Seahawks, Seahawks fans, over eight wins at plus 150. They're pretty good. They got a good home field advantage. They got Russell Wilson. He'll win games in the fourth quarter. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Rister's asking, how do I think about feel about getting rid of Mari Cooper? I feel like they should have kept him. Well, for a first-round pick, you're definitely trading him for a first-round pick. I did not bet on the Vikings. I don't. I don't remember what their over under was when I was doing this. All right, last box, last auto. Good luck, everybody. There you go, Tice. Yeah, Seahawks over eight. I believed. The plus one hundred and fifty also helped. Uh, there's Marvin Jones Jr. out of one forty nine line. Charles Clay Refractor. Those will ship. But I mean, if. I mean, the first round pick from the Cowboys was a gift for Amari Cooper. Amari Cooper, I like. I, I was definitely sad that he's gone. And our last autograph here, Doris Fountain. Second half is in the store, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Go for it. Random teams, 
one spot gets you one uh yeah one spot purchase gets you two teams in a random team break check out the second half jaspies case breaks.com um so that Darius Fountain of Youth out of 35 Colts. That'll be for Gabe Plunkert. There you go. Um, but yeah, first round pick for Amari Cooper. You kind of have to take that, especially since the Raiders aren't really aren't really going anywhere. There's Cam Noon. That's right, Andrew K. I would I did. You're absolutely right. I that was my reasoning now, now that I remember. I went with under on that Saints nine and a half because I thought the rest of that division will be a little more tough. Will be tougher. But that guy was carrying an injury, so that didn't help. There's Michael Gallup. I was also hoping for the Cowboys to not do as well after that trade, but looks like the Raiders will have a high first round pick, their own, top five at least. And then they'll have two kind of they'll have two kind of mid late first round picks. There's Mitch Trubisky to two ninety nine. Derek Carr, should he stay? For now. I like Derek Carr, but I mean you know, since they're pretty much rebuilding, if you, you may as well pull the Band-Aid off and move everybody, I guess, if you're going to start from scratch. So, but Carr did pretty well this season, all things considered. Let's see how he does next year or two. Calvin Ridley to 299. But I could see them drafting a quarterback next year or two as well. If Carr is playing well, they'll hold on to him. Young quarterback can develop behind Derek Carr. You know, maybe later round pick, if not, you know, that, maybe new guy, but we'll see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. That was random team break number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Do I have to randomize anything? Is this any kind of promo break? No, that's it. Jazbeescasebreaks.com, the second half of this break is in the store right now. I, don't, I didn't see a big rookie, you know, there's got to be, or a big veteran or Hall of Fame name. I'm thinking that's got to be in the other half. So check it out, folks. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com.